Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is my oxtail and sharp ribs gumbo. Yes, indeed, we're gonna make this today because the winter months is coming in, and you want something wholesome. Now, I do a recipe for sharp ribs and oxtail stew, but we're gonna make a gumbo. We're gonna do something different. So what we're going to do now is leave all the fat that's on these short ribs and on these oxtails. So what we're going to do is add uh, black pepper. Add black pepper. Just like this, real coated. And then we're going to add salt. Check it up like that. Then we're going to add thyme, like that, good, good, good thyme, and then we're going to add some parsley, some parsley flakes like this, and then we're going to add some Old Bay season, Old Bay season, just like this. Now we're going to stir it up like this, get it all incorporated, like this. And then we're going to put this in the oven, my hands off, I always have a towel to wash my hands off, so I can make sure I can get some things. And we're going to put a top on this, we're going to put the moon fall on this. I'm going to place this in the oven. I'm going to put a lot of little foil, so I'm going to cut some of it off. Like that. And we're going to place this in the oven for an hour and a half so we can render that fat off the meat so we can make our roux. This is Sandra. I'm going to show you another segment of this presentation of the oxtail short ribs gumbo. Be right back. Hi, we're back with the finished product. What I'm showing you now is the okra, the roux, the bell peppers, the onions, and the celery. We have this already cooked. So what we're going to do now is add a cup of rotel tomatoes, a can of rotel tomatoes. We're going to blend that together. Just like this. And then we're going to add two quarts of beef broth into this mix, like this, y'all. Get it all incorporated. Like this. Look at that roux. Look at that roux, y'all. Look at that roux. Look at that, y'all. This is what we're talking about right now. Okay, we're going to add another one. And another beef broth inside this gumbo, this oxtail and short rib gumbo. Just like that, y'all. Just like that. Now, I'm not putting it on the stove because I want to not get too much heat to my camera. So, we're going to use uh, one, two, three bay leaves them together and we're going to show you the finished product. This is the short rib right here. This is the oxtail right there. Short rib. Short rib. Put that bone in there to season it up real good. Look at the oxtails. I'm telling you this is a great dish. You will enjoy this dish. We put all those oxtails in there. The short ribs give you extra meat, and it's, you know there's not too much meat on the oxtails. You know but that flavor is there. And we baked them, and we got them all incorporated with this. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna add some thyme, thyme it up like that, and then we're gonna add. Some, we already add the bay leaves. Add black pepper. Black pepper. 
and we're going to add some salt and we're going to add some pasta flakes pasta flakes like that and then we're going to add some Old Bay season like that give it a good season then we're going to stir this up and make it a mess I'm going to make some mess baby look at that look at look good we don't have we haven't even have the opportunity to put it up on me on top of the stove for 20 minutes or 30. okay we got that in there like that so what we're gonna do is taste it mm, real good so we're gonna put some more cajun seasoning we're gonna put some cajun seasoning that's what that's a real cajun seasoning we don't want too soft just for me. and we're gonna let it cook about 20 to 30 minutes and then we're going to serve it up and let you see what it looks like okay this is sandra I'll be right back hi this is sandra this is the end result of the gumbo the oxtail and short rib gumbo it's in a deep dark gravy with rice and the gumbo is delicious. The oxtails has a wonderful, wonderful taste. And I forgot to tell you that we put chili powder in the gumbo too. You can get this recipe at a soulfoodqueen.net. And this is the uh, oxtail right there. And that is the short rib right there. And it's, they are so tender and so delicious. This is Sandra. I'm going to tell you happy eating. And thank you for coming to my channel. And looking at the things I do. This is Sandra again. Thank you very much for coming to my channel.